there was a time when there were not enough free online resources for DSA and now it is the opposite. There are too many resources available for DSA online. And if you go on YouTube and you search DSA playlists, you'll see hundreds and hundreds of videos of all claiming to be the best DSA playlist. And I know I have spent and wasted too much time on finding the perfect DSA video, the perfect DSA playlist or the perfect DSA sheet. And I don't want you to do the same mistake and I don't want you to waste any time. So in this video, I'm going to give you straight up the five best resources for DSA that are freely available on YouTube and how you can utilize them. So without any further ado, let's get into it. So the first resource that I have for you is Abdul Bari, the man, the myth, the legend. So if you're already an advanced player in DSA, then probably his videos will not be of much use to you. But if you're a beginner in DSA and you're having difficulty understanding some algorithms, some advanced algorithms, then Abdul Bari is by far the best explainer. I myself refer to his videos even now when I get confused in any algorithm, I still refer to his videos. That's how good and that's how high quality they are. So there's a playlist that he has about algorithms in which he has explained pretty much every algorithm that are important for your placement, right? At least most of them. So if you're a beginner and you're having difficulty understanding any algorithm from scratch or any, let's say, DS from scratch, then you can definitely refer to his videos. His videos are pretty, pretty, pretty gold. All right. So that is the first resource, Abdul Bari, the legend. Now, if you were to ask me the best DSA sheet available, and I have made an entire video about this, by the way, but if you were to ask me, ki bhaiya, say in one word, what is the best DSA sheet available? Then I would say, and that brings me to the, to the resource number two, that is Striver's A to Z DSA sheet and playlist. So Striver has one of the best DSA sheets out there. If you ask me the best DSA sheet, then I'll definitely and surely take his name. His platform is also pretty great. And he has a corresponding playlist on YouTube where he has, you know, the topics of the questions and the solution of the questions explained in his video. The best thing about Striver Sheet and the Striver's playlist is that he explains the intuition behind the solution, right? A lot of people on YouTube just give you the solution, but he will give you the intuition behind the solution so that you know how you can also come up with the solution yourself rather than just, you know, seeing a solution. So yeah, Striver Sheet and Striver A to Z DSA playlist is the best if you haven't already start following him guys and start preparing from there i'm telling you there's a 60 to 70 percent chance in majority of the interviews the question will be exactly the same from striver sheet or a little bit different there's a 60 to 70 percent chance of that now if you're someone who gets stuck in dp then you're not alone dp is something that confuses many many students and even the advanced level learners right and if you are appearing for interviews of companies like Google, Flipkart, Amazon, Rippling, those sort of companies, you can easily expect a problem on DP. So if you're having trouble with DP, I have the perfect playlist for you. And that brings me to my next resource, Aditya Verma. So I'm telling you, Aditya Verma has one of the best playlists and one of the best resource for learning dynamic programming and backtracking. He explains everything so, so, so well. Even I have referred his videos for understanding DP and you know, those sort of topics in depth. So definitely this is another great resource that you must incorporate in your learning. If you want to be a master of such topic, his videos are some of the highest quality available on YouTube, which is obviously for free. So it is of a paid level. That is the quality that he has and he's putting it on YouTube. So definitely for DP and correlated topics, you can easily, easily, easily go to Aditya Verma's playlist. Now, a lot of times people ask me for language specific resources. Like what if I'm doing DSA in Python? People ask me, what are the best DSA resources if I'm doing DSA in Python? And to that, there's only one answer and that is Neat Code. So Neat Code is a channel that is again known for his DSA videos, his DSA playlist. And he has an amazing channel. He has an amazing playlist. And the best part about it is that it is in Python. So to all of you data lovers, to all of you AI lovers, you can refer to Neat Code's videos. All of his videos are pretty great. And even though I'm a Java guy, I still refer to his videos because they are of such great quality and his explanations are pretty much top notch. Now, coming to Java, a lot of people find it difficult to understand codes initially in Java and they find it difficult to basically enter in Java. So for that, I'll suggest two channels. First is Pep Coding. So Pep Coding is a great, great channel and it is sort of an older channel. They've had their videos for quite some time now and they also have some really great content. If you're a Java guy, you can go for them without a doubt. Apart from that, I'll also say Kunal Kushwaha's videos are also pretty good. 
some of his initial videos that he has put for DSA. Although he has not covered every topic, but if you're a Java guy, you can start off with his videos because he has also explained the intuition behind it or the algorithms, the key concepts very, very clearly. So definitely for Java, you can refer to Pep Coding and Kunal Kushwaha's channel. Now for DSA, I would say this is enough for you. You don't need any other thing. Trust me, all of this is enough for you to master DSA at a level that you can easily glide through the interviews of the companies that you're appearing for. A lot of people ask me about Love Bubbles DSA videos. So they are also pretty good, I would say. There's nothing wrong with them, especially as a beginner. His videos are also pretty good. But I think Love Bubbles should be more famous for CS fundamentals. Now, let me bring you a bonus topic in this video itself, right? What about CS fundamentals? Because along with DSA, many people get confused about the core concepts of CS, right? So Love Bubble is a channel that you should be looking out for for CS fundamental concepts. His playlist on OS are pretty amazing, pretty top notch, and it'll be great for you if you're learning OS for your placements. All right. So you can follow Love Berber's OS playlist for placement. Apart from that, Gate Smashes. Gate Smashes is by far one of the best, best playlists for CS fundamentals. So if you're done with your DSA or if you're doing it in parallel or if you're just focusing on CS fundamentals, then definitely follow Gate Smashes. His concepts, his videos are some of the best out there. So these two are bonus playlists for you if you're also looking for CS fundamental topics. One is Love Bubba and the other is Gate Smashers. So that is pretty much it. I do not suggest wasting time in switching between the playlists. Definitely, if you're having trouble understanding one topic, you can find another playlist for that. You can have multiple sources of learning, but do not waste too much time in just, you know, going between the resources, sometimes studying from A, sometimes studying from B. Do not do that. The focus should be on improving your intuition, improving your problem solving skills. So the majority of your time should not go into watching the videos. The majority of your time should be going in writing the code itself. All right. I know so many people who just watch YouTube playlists. They've finished like many, many YouTube videos, many, many YouTube playlists, and they still cannot solve the code problem if their life depended on it. So again, let me repeat the majority of your time should go into coding for the problems not in watching the videos the videos are there for explanation the videos are there for your understanding the videos are there if you get stuck but the focus should be on problem solving if you want me to make a complete video about how to utilize these resources let me know in the comment section and i'll make another video for that so that is pretty much it for this one all of the resources are in the description box start your dsa journey right away and start learning and let's see you again in the next video